The HR9 Overkill Ram 7 is the number one loadout right now in Warzone 3, which we all know, but I still see so many garbage builds. So I got y'all with the new and improved number one loadout to be using right now, which with these builds, I completely dominated in rank play. So if you're trying to get some SR, you're definitely in the right place. So for the first attachment, we are just going to be adding a suppressor to keep ourselves off the radar. I really did want to add like a different suppressor, but I just didn't really need the extra damage range and I didn't really want to lose recoil control since we all know this gun is very bouncy so i just added the shadow strike suppressor this is going to keep you off the radar and just make it so you can get mixing b in the enemy's face without them really knowing where you're at which is pretty helpful for these submachine guns although if you aren't that good at the game and you're having a little bit of a hard time controlling the recoil then i would add the compensate flash hider this one's kind of like a half suppressor you're not going to be up on the radar as long and you also get some recoil control and firing aim and stability really making the weapon a lot easier to use but for me since you know unfortunates keep your always in the enemy's face you kind of need to be off the radar as you guys can see still is pretty bouncy but you will also see in the gameplay that it's honestly pretty easy to control especially because for the stock we are going to be adding the folding stock which will give us that recoil control the gun kick control and the firing aiming stability which a lot of people don't realize the firing aiming stability is more important than the horizontal and the vertical recoil control same with the gun kick control that's basically going to make it so the screen like your gun doesn't really shake that much making in the recoil you see easier to actually control if that makes sense so basically when we add the folding it's going to make the gun super easy to use so now we're going to be off the radar and the gun's not going to have that much recoil but we do need some extra ammo since you know you're playing against squads you need to be able to take down a lot of them without worrying about reloading so 50 round mag is definitely a must on here you kind of run this on like every single war zone build so now we don't really need to worry about ammo now from here if you want to recoil control i would add the x10 phantom 5 hand stop this one's going to give you a handling increase and you're going to get recoil control which we really want to increase the handling more than the mobility because we want to increase that sprint to fire speed basically when you're running around the map you want to be able to pull up your gun faster than the enemy so then you have a higher chance of getting that first shot when you have the phantom it's going to allow you to do so and it's going to make the gun easy to use but for me because i would say i'm a pretty good player i'm going to be using the hand stop so then i can take advantage of that mobility increase so now we're going to be completely off the radar we don't have to worry about the reloading we have a lot of recoil control and we're going to have so much mobility allowing you to play very aggressive and win basically every gunfight up close also one thing that people don't realize if you want to make it easier to win those up close gunfights you got to make sure you have very good centering see that white dot on the side of your screen you need to make sure that is on the enemy's chest at all times or where they could be so then all you have to do is ads and fire making it easier to actually control the recoil because then you have actually amos is helping you now from here it really doesn't matter what you add if you want you can add a little bit more recoil control by getting the uh the princeps long barrel this one also gives you a very clean iron sight it's going to allow you to do a little bit more damage but i don't really like losing um, mobility and handling and i don't really think we need more range since that's why we got our secondary which i'll quickly go over in a second so for me i really like the assault grip just makes the gun overall easier overall easy to use because we get a lot of gun kick control recoil control yes we're losing a little bit of an ads but at least we get a lot of sprint to fire speed so if you guys do want the screenshot here's my favorite hrm build so now for the ram i'll quickly go over this so i'm going to be running the jack bfv just because it adds overall so much recoil control making the gun very easy to use but it does hurt the overall like mobility and handling on the weapon a lot making it just feel a little bit wonky and i don't really like how we're losing our bolt velocity and so what i also like to run at the same time this is going to be the compensated flash hider these two attachments work very well on most guns in the game this one we already know it improves the stability removing the shake and gives you that recoil control without really having you on the radar that much so overall i do prefer the compensated flash hider but in the crazy gameplays that you do not want to miss i was running the jack bfv what you guys can also do uh, is going to be adding a cassis break i believe this one is going to eliminate all these side to side recoil and making this thing a complete utterly beam with zero vertical recoil control so it's very difficult to use but also very easy to use and i'll show you guys after we build the whole build so this gun we know has a lot of like side to side bounce so we are going to be adding the dr6 not the dr6 the uh the bruin heavy underbarrel this one is gonna basically eliminate that side to side bounce yes we're gonna have a little bit more vertical recoil on the weapon but it should be fine you're gonna see this gun is super easy to use 
then you know just because we always need extra ammo we are going to be adding these 60 round mags so now we can beam across the map very easily and we don't really worry about our ammo next up we are going to be going over to the stock and we are going to be adding the hvs 3.4 pad which is going to give us that gun kick control which remember we want a lot of gun kick control more so than the recoil control this is going to do just that what you guys can also do is going to be the hunker stock 5 pad i know it looks like it doesn't do as much but it actually still gives you a lot of recoil control with not really hurting your like tactical sprint speed the reason i like this one more is because we get more recoil control and i don't mind running a little bit slower because i'll usually be running around with my secondary and so this is more of like my sit back being people are long range thing now from here we are going to be increasing that damage range since you know like i said we want to be able to use this thing up the long range and do a lot of damage the best barrel for this thing is going to be the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. This can increase that bow velocity in the range, the aim and idle stability, and the fire and aiming stability, which is going to make it easier to hit that first shot. If you hit that first shot, it's going to be easier to hit the rest of the shots. That's why a lot of the time it looks like YouTubers have no recoil because they hit the first shot and they have very good centering for that. So this one right here, I'm not running this build. I'm running the Jack BFB instead of the Cassis, but this one's super fun. As you guys can see, the Cassis is going to eliminate that side to side balance, but there's a lot of vertical recoil. So it does take a little bit of practice to get used to, which is why I think most of you guys are probably going to like the Jack BFB or the compensated flash hider. And I just want to show you guys real quick that you can control the gun pretty easily easily with the compensated flash hider absolutely no recoil and we still have a pretty good amount of mobility and then for the rest of the class we are going to be running the smoke grenade this comes in clutch so much you start getting shot at pop down the smoke you get out of there and you usually can save your life what you can also do is the stim that helps very um just you know if you're one shot you can pop the stim and then actually reach out on that engagement Semtex, I really like to get people out of buildings, but I think I'm going to start running the thrower knife. So then if I knock the enemy, I don't really need to use my ammo to like, you know, finish them. I can throw a thrower knife, then I'll have ammo for my next engagement. And then for the perk packages, I just like the double time EOD tempered high alert. Very much personal preference doesn't really matter. And I wish you guys the best. Deuces. Oh my god, Skip. Oh my god. Motherfucker is the best player in the world. Do I have the sidewinder? Ah, Marta, kaputa kapario. Oh shit, no, 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 oh my god, no, I'm done. Bro, that guy thought he was good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my 
my god. I should have just ran away, but it was so it's so hard not to shoot at them when they're all like right there in front of you. Skip. Yo, a team, team above. Smoke it. Smoke it, skip if you guys smoke.
Does it seem like I can kind of see from up there? I've never been to this part of the map. Wait, suck my dick. Looney, 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 Luna. Sorry, my cat's meowing. Like she wants to play. Luna, you have a friend soon. If we had one of those portable repels, I would go down there and resume real quick. But I don't want to lose the high ground. Right, Skip, they're all directly below us. So why would you go down there? That was the worst spot to go. Skip, we had the high ground. Timmy wants me to lose the high ground. Go ahead, get him up. Oh, your upper bounced off the rock when you fell down there. You're like, oh, I'm done. I'm fucking done. That was the best fucking stick of the of the century. That was a Kobe right there. Imagine I went down to go rest, teammate. Shabby. If you got smokes, huge. This team is just guarding loadout, so we need to kill him. Oh. 
descending. Watch your six. Dude, they got drones. Enemies dropping into the Good kill. Oh my god. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. That was so sexy. I don't know if that was you that saved me or helped me, I guess. But, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Keep up the good work. Ping if that was like a, an enemy. I'm not letting you go out like this. Assuming there was a random claymore. You had no plates or something. <laughs> There's so many little rats in this game. They landed in this house.
left in the war zone. Stay alert.